archive. This is for the benefit of uh, Sully. Sully guitars. You've got your center line down your neck, here and here. Make sure these are loose. That's right there. Barry, just check your hair, mate. It's, um, it's in the way. It's a bit in the way, mate. Jig, is it? Yeah. How do you think I get some fucking haircuts? Just let it go in the machinery. <laughs> Nothing to do with your wife being a you know beauty therapist, hairdresser, and multitude of other wonderful things. It's all about. Down the song. Okay, who's this for? Fernando. This is Fernando, I think. Yeah. That's Fernando. It's a rosewood and a binding. Okay. That up in my little fucking workbench. Every guitar I've ever made's been made on one of them. <laughs> All right, uh, we need a couple of clamps. We need some of wood. Put them box of wood. Fucking junior, chuck them all out. Oh no, I'll get some blocks. Wait, no, I've got one. Mad skills. That's our depth. So that stops there, doesn't go anywhere, Just holds it. You can put a clamp on there if you really want to, but you know, whatever. Doesn't really need it. I don't think it does anyway. trimmer has a little collet in there and the bit is obviously fits through that that collet's the same size as this channel All right. so that fits in there like that here is one mil deeper and at the exact point that this base drops into that one point deeper it also goes wider by a mill each side to give relief for the nut. So did you learn this somewhere, Perry, or did you just come up with this from your own experience and knowledge? Everything I've ever done I've made myself and worked out myself pretty much, including this. I just worked out which is the easiest way What's the best way for me to set up one tool to do one job and then one jig to do a multitude of things? What's the easiest way I can not hurt myself? How is the best way to be more accurate every single time? And fast enough that I don't have to whinge and complain about not making any money. Like half the other guys. We're ready to go. Come on That's it. Gotta do that two more times for different depths. You can see here where I, uh, I've been a little fast sometimes and I hit the jig. Well, actually, that was in the multi-scale course I did in January. <laughs> Some uh, clown hit that. Anyway, 
go through again. Normally I'd have an air blower, get rid of all the dust, I can't be bothered. That's it. Easy. Bang. Although, you go three times so you get down to depth. Fuck it, we'll just do it. Finish it off, mate. Finish it off. Stop mucking around. And my masking tape should be the depth. See the masking tape on the tool? Let me see. Where's that? Can you see it? No, can you see it? See this mask right here? There? I know, with my jig and this tool, because this tool is only used with this jig and that's it, nothing else. Mm -hmm. that when it hits that masking tape, that is the correct depth for a thrust rod. I just adjusted it and moved the fucking masking tape. <clears throat> I actually have little lines drawn on the tool as well. Mm -hmm. Have a look. You want to zoom in here? Same lines? Mm, Can you yeah. see them? Yep. Got them. That's where I start off at. Mm -hmm. That's where I finish at. Depending on how tough the timber is, I go certain increments. It's, you know, I just guess it most of the time. But if it's uh, rosewood, I'll do five goes. If it's maple, I'll do three. If it's Tassie Blackwood, I'll do three. If it's solid one piece ebony neck, I'll do six. But that just gives you a guide for the start and the finish. And that's just to save it chipping out, hey? Oh, uh, just to save. You, you, can't, you don't want to cut too much out in one go with a timber that's too tough because then you're potentially going to... Tear out and stuff? No, but more it's more of a safety thing. Uh, mm, okay. You don't want to... You want to um, only put the tool under a certain amount of load and the bit under a certain amount of load, which is a fair bit, a lot more than people think. But at the same time, you've got to be careful because if you take too much, it heats up the bit, it heats up the resins of the wood, it, the resins burn, it creates smoke, that resins fill these flutes, um, that wears out the the, bear, uh, the bit, you end up pushing it harder, you potentially break the bit, etc, etc. The next one, what you got to do now, undo. Wait, oops, sorry. That's it. Kind of look beautiful. That's really clean. 